Big boost today in the race to get Americans vaccinated against COVID-19. The White House saying now it will distribute more than 27 million vaccine doses this week, more than 5 million than last week. Texas also getting a big boost, expecting 1 million vaccines next week. And the state health department telling us they expect that to increase in April. Well, so many more North Texans are scrambling to sign up today. We brought you the breaking news yesterday on midday that Texas is opening up vaccines to all adults starting Monday. Lots of you with questions about that, though, and the process as well. Our health and wellness reporter Sonia Azad was all over this yesterday, this morning as well on daybreak. And Sonia, you know, a lot of folks have questions. What are some of the top questions you are receiving? Yeah, Tashara, let's dive right into it, right? Um, the news that you just shared about the boost in supply coming from the state and from the federal government is huge. And this feeds us right into our first question. Darcy asking, how long could it take to be scheduled for an appointment once you sign up on Monday? Well, first of all, you should sign up or register before Monday, regardless of whether or not you're eligible, okay? If you're an adult, doesn't matter. Sign up in as many locations as you're willing to drive. So, for instance, I'm signed up right now in Dallas County, Tarrant County, Denton County, and randomly Galveston County. Long story there. But anyway, just do what you're willing to uh, do in terms of how far you're willing to go. And I, I talked to Dr. Wong this morning from Dallas County Health and Human Services. He said it could take weeks, but we really don't know. It just depends on the location and how fast they're moving. Um, our second question that's also very sort of popular or common, Dustin was asking, what is the best way to register? Um, and Dustin, the answer to that question really is online everywhere, whether it's through counties. And you can literally Google you know, Dallas County COVID-19 vaccine, and it'll pop up with a bunch of information. Um, you could also register online at CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Tom Thumb, Albertsons, Costco. GoodRx is sort of aggregating um, a bunch of options. And by next week, the state of Texas is going to roll out a website as well as a phone number that you can call. Um, and they're calling this the Texas Public Health Vaccine Scheduler. Scheduler. I really think they should have done this a long time ago, my personal opinion. But anyway, hey, it'll be here next week. So that'll be another option for you to look out for. Um, our next question, where can a person get the vaccine if transportation is not available? This is a great question from Elizabeth, who's actually out of Montgomery County. She reached out to me and asked me that question. I did ask Dr. Wong that question this morning as well. He said, look, we are partnering with a lot of organizations, for instance, the Visiting Nurses Association um, is taking vaccines out to folks who are eligible through their Meals on Wheels program, right? So that those people don't necessarily have to come to a place. Um, Dallas County, I know, is also busing residents to locations, and they're looking at other sites for clinics as well. So keep an ear or an eye out for those options. And uh, here's what he had to say, a little more about what he had to say with that. We have staff that are uh, going out into the community at different sites, uh, registering people online, I mean, in person, uh, right there. Um, and so, you know, that's been in uh, coordination with many community leaders, uh, uh, commis county commissioners, city council members, others, uh, to be out in the community registering people uh, on site uh, if they don't have that access to internet and other things. Okay, and Tashara, another big question. A lot of parents asking about their 16 and 17 year olds. They're like, well, Sonia, this is only for adults in Texas, right? So that's 18 and up. Well, According to Chris Van Dusen from the Texas uh, Department of State Health Services, I talked to him again this afternoon, he said, or this morning, whatever time it is, uh, he said, no, this includes 16 and 17 year olds, okay? And those uh, age groups are eligible to receive the Pfizer vaccine. Pfizer was granted emergency use authorization uh, for 16 and up. The other two vaccines that we have that are options now, Moderna and Johnson & Johnson, are only for 18 and up. So uh, this eligibility, even though it's dubbed for adults, does include 16 and 17-year-olds because that's in line with the FDA's emergency use authorization. I hope that clears up some questions that folks have at home. Remember, you can always message me if you have more questions. For now, we'll send things back to you, Tashara.